Now, some political actors are questioning polls predicting the outcome of the 2024 general elections. Various surveys have forecast a victory for the opposition National Democratic Congress amid the current economic challenges. Recent reports by Fitch Solutions and Afrobarometer indicate widespread discontent with the ruling government, suggesting a likely loss for the new patriotic party. This report captures opinions shared on Channel One TV's current affairs program, The Big Issue. As major elections approach in Ghana, numerous polls are conducted to predict the likely winners based on prevailing voter concerns. Currently, economic difficulties are among the key issues voters believe will influence the outcome of the December 7 elections. Several polls now predict a possible win for the opposition National Democratic Congress due to widespread dissatisfaction with the ruling New Patriotic Party's performance. However, some political actors are skeptical of these polls. Yabu Abiyan Samoa, a key member of the Movement for Change, suggests these polls should be taken with a grain of salt. If it's not entirely fake, the one part of a poll you can ascertain objectively is the methodology because then it's subject to peer pressure and peer review. But the line of questioning can always be pushed in such a way that you get the results you want, plus the data analysis. Mm -hmm. Depending on whether you decide to uh, analyze the cup-full approach, the half-full approach, or half-empty mm -hmm. approach. So having said that, how can Fitch tell us, Ghanaians, that Ghanaians are dissatisfied with the economy and so they will vote for NDC. Dr. Dixon Adumakukisi, a member of the ruling New Patriotic Party and member of parliament for Nya Sotum, argues that it is improbable for any party to achieve 54% of votes as predicted by Fitch. Nonetheless, he acknowledges the findings of the Afrobarometer report. And I, I, I think that between now and December, I'm not saying that something overly drastic will happen, but anything can happen. And this, this polls, uh, you know, can, can, can be a thing of the past. Mm. And 54%, and I'm questioning it. If those are the sentiments, uh, it triggers introspection within government. And, 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 and I think that it, should not, it will not be taken for granted. Franklin Kujo, president of Humani Africa, believes the recent polls, particularly the Afrobarometer report, accurately reflect the current economic situation. If you look at the data, you can't quarrel with it. We are friends in government. Guys, there's no better way of saying it to me. You are my friend, but I have to tell you, you need to wake up and probably wear sackcloth, lie prostrate before us and say, we need to come back to the table, fix this economy, come with us, and stop shifting the blame. The Center for Democratic Development, CDD Ghana, the national partner for Afrobarometer in Ghana, views the recent reports as a wake-up call for political actors. Ghana will hold its ninth general election since the inception of the Fourth Republic in 1992. Now, each of these elections since then has been preceded by predictions from various research groups, primarily focusing on the current state of the economy and voter sentiment. However, the accuracy of these predictions in reflecting what is the current sentiment of the people will only be determined by the outcome of the December 7 polls. And we live to see. Reporting for Channel 1 News, my name is Atuat Nkrama Domina.